Well, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, advice, guidance, and um, as of the date of this recording, we are in the period between Rosh Hashanah and uh, Yom Kippur. And during this Rosh Hashanah and Kippur uh, period, it's a lot of uh, it's a time for self uh, introspection. And uh, my eyes fell across a passage in uh, Leviticus, in Parshas Behar. Leviticus uh, chapter 25, 17, Do not harass one another. Now Rashi, in his comments to this posuk, to this verse, says this is um, an enjoyment against onoas devarim, uh, verbal abuse. Uh, mocking someone, humiliating someone, just, uh, insulting them, uh, verbal harassment, ridiculing someone, um, can have an enduring and adverse effect on his uh, personality development. The humiliation and the scorn that one is subject to at the hands of others can damage... Um, a person's psyche and uh, impair his uh, self-esteem and his, bil his uh, ability to, uh, uh, to relate to others. Humiliation, especially in public, is one of the worst things you can do uh, to a person. Now, humiliation doesn't only come from words, it can come from actions. Um, an intentional snub, um, shunning a person, what I call active ignorage. Um, it could be uh, what's uh, called in uh, modern parlance uh, ghosting. When you sever a relationship by cutting off all communication and correspondence with a person, you, as if he doesn't exist, he's, he's ghosting a person. Um, now, while a person should not be obsessed about the ego, the problem is proper, healthy self-esteem is a prerequisite to emotional stability. Uh, somebody who denigrates a fellow Jew, a religious person, a Noahide, who, who, who insults and denigrates and humiliates um, another person. It's one of the worst things you can do. Especially when uh, it's a situation where a smile or a kind word can make a person's day. You have to remember, especially during this time, during this time between uh, uh, Rosh Hashanah, when it's inscribed, and Yom Kippur, when it's sealed, that we have to realize that just as we act to others, just as we um, humiliate others, embarrass others, or shun them, or ghost them, or um, cut them off, from human contact and correspondence. Perhaps me, me the connected me the, um, sometimes God repays in kind and um, he will, chas v'sholem, the creator will act toward us in the same manner in which we acted toward others. I'm, I think it's a pretty safe bet that Hashem's uh, rebuff will hurt us much, much more. We don't want the Creator to ignore us. We don't want Him to shun us. We don't want Him to uh, put us away. We don't want to be ghosted by God. Uh, so let's, especially during this time, let's take it upon ourselves to uh, act properly, to, especially toward others, to improve our uh, characteristics, uh, our qualities, and uh, treat others um, the way we would want to be treated. Let's not do to others what we wouldn't want done to us. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.